All right, welcome back to Career Build 32. All right, so this is going to be a building video, and we're going to start working on our barge. So, um, you know, the barge is, is um, we're going to start doing some work on this and getting this so that it's a little bit better. Um, it has some of the features that we need. Um, so we're just going to jump right in. I'm going to get moving. So I'm just going to put a little more detailing on this. Um, you know, it's it's nothing critical. I think I'm going to change the color of the barge too. So um, let me do this. Um, I'm going to go darker on the color of the barge, and then I'll make the maybe the interior will be a little bit lighter, deck color will be a little bit lighter. I'm going to paint it up a little bit more. Um, so let's start working on this here. Okay. All right, so we're just going to take some of these sharp angles off. Um, you do get a little bit of, you know, the barges are pretty square just because they're barges and nobody cares, um, IRL. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll sharpen them. We'll uh, smooth them out just a hair, give them a little bit, um, a little bit better of a look here. All right. Just kind of take some of this, uh, the curse off these corners, and it looks a little bit more professionally done. Okay. All right. So that's that kind of smooth, just smoothing out our edges here. Um, this here is four tall. That's advantageous because we can go like this. Um, actually. Yep, that looks no, nope, that looks terrible. <laughs> Let me see. I think it needs to go the other way. There we go. Okay, so that's nice. That kind of takes some of the sharpness off of it. Um, kind of smooths it out a little bit. Um, you know, again, it's a barge. It's not supposed to be a looker. It's it's um, a functional. Just it's supposed to be functional. So um, you know, try that. Try that uh, inverse pyramid over here. And now see how that looks here. Okay, so that looks pretty good as well. That kind of, you know, takes off some of the sharp corners a little bit. Um, all right, so let's look at our sheet. I, I wrote down what the barge really needed. Um, let's let's finish some painting actually. Um, so waterline uh, barges often don't have waterline depicted on them, from what I've seen. I'm I'm no expert in this, but. Um, Let's spawn it. I want to see where the water line is. So the water line is right. So this is an unladen, unladen water line. So it should be there. So you want fully laden water line. So what we're going to do here is um, put some diesel in there. Um, so that will show us what our max um, height is. So I want to put a spawner. All right, we'll throw some diesel in here. Um, and we'll see where it sits. All right, so that's full of diesel. Uh, it sits a little bit bow heavy. I might increase the tank to the back a little bit. Yeah, it could go a little lower. We could take a little more diesel. That will let us hold some more as well. So let's do that. I'm just going to move the wall so that um, I want this nice and flat and level. And then um, get rid of this really quick. Okay. Flying's being weird for some reason right now. Okay, so let's try going. I don't think we're going to want to go too far back. Let's go two back and see how that looks. Um, and then we will delete out this wall. Okay, and then let's go and... Uh, okay, so let's spawn that, see how it sits. So, all in the drink. Okay, so uh, so see that sits much leveler and a little bit to the stern, which is what we want, so that the bow's not digging into the uh, water as we're pulling it. So that's about as low as we want to go in the water. So that is right. Let me see, where is that? That is coming up. So that's one block um, right here. So that's going to be where our water line goes. Okay, good. 
So home B. All right, perfect. So our water line is right. Um, I can spot it again. Trying to trying to see the uh, detailing of it. Yep. So it's one under the flat section is going to be our water line. Okay. So we have this flat section, this one under here. So let's paint that. Um, paint it black for now. Oh, it's, I always hate having that uh, paint swap on. All right, and then we're gonna do uh, we'll do a red underneath, and uh, just made a mess of that. Okay, so that's gonna be where our water line is on our boat. Mostly just a little bit of detailing doing this. Um, I actually kind of think I'm gonna step back a gray back to where we were. Yeah, that's fine like that. Um, I'm gonna pick up one of my deck decking colors here. I think um, that's good there. Um, I kind of like. Let me do this. Let me save it. Um, do barge release because this is the one that I will release. Okay, barge release, career barge release. All right. If I can spell, that'd be even easier. Okay, good. Let's open up the Damon 2111. All right, and I want um, this color here. So I'm just going to uh, paint. I'm going to take that color. We'll load our barge back up. All right, now I want to... Um, okay, let me see paint, bucket. Let's try this, see how this looks when I get done with it. Kind of a, you know, I want it to look industrial. I want it to look like, you know, it's just some crappy cheap barge that, you know, just is meant for work. All right. So that's fine. Um, not thrilled with the colors inside, but that's not a big deal. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, let's spawn it. Let's see how I like the coloring. Yep, that looks nice. Um, looks pretty good there. Yep, so that that adds a lot of detail to it. Um, good, so I like that. All right. All right, let's do this. Well, let's keep adding some detail. All right, let's do paint, block, uh, paintable sign. Just make it white for now. Okay. And I'm trying to see what color I want to do this as. Um, I think I want to do my kind of my that color. Let's go. See how this looks. Just kind of want to uh, just kind of make a kind of a stripe stripes around the where the container sits. That will just kind of be for uh, you know telling you where the container area is. See if I want that closer. Okay. I think I do want it closer, so let's just do this. Oh, merge it. All right, let's go back paint. Um, let's go yellow in. See how I like this. I still want to go in further, so let's go here. Sorry, this is just me being uh, kind of 
This is kind of the artsy fartsy section. I usually try not to do too much of this, just to. But that's kind of the stage we're at here. Is the you know finishing it up, trying to make it you know even for a barge, we want it to kind of look look nice. So I really want that close. So let's do this. Um, okay, and then I want to paint. Just get my. There and then I want black here. Okay, there we go. All right, uh, that's going to be my corner section. So let me. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. Copy. Oh, we'll rotate that to where it's going to be for this side. Paste. We'll copy this, and we'll. Um, Move it here, and then we'll uh, rotate the last one here. All right, we'll merge these. This, this will be reasonably quick once I get them going. Okay. All right, so those four are in. Let's uh, grab another paint block here. I'm just going to make it white so that it's... Okay. All right, so here we go. Um, let's start painting. Black goes there. Um, did I do a double black? I did a double black on the inside. I want a double black. I don't want a double black on that side. Okay. Um, and then let's go yellow. Let's go black on this side. Okay. And then I actually don't want a double black. I want green like that. All right, and then this will all be green and color and stuff. I don't want to. All right, now this is going to go quick because I can copy these and move the whole section. So, all right, good. So this is going to go like this. A copy. I'll go paste, 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 and paste. And then I'm going to merge these up, and then I'm going to copy them again. All right, and then we'll go from there to here. Uh, theoretically, oh come on. Try to rush a little bit and it ends up taking you longer. Okay, paste, clear. Okay, copy. Uh, we'll paste that, we'll rotate, get the ends done because I don't want to cut into the ends. So I need one. Okay, so let's go like this. All right, so this is just putting an outline around the. Um, this is going to put an outline around the whole section there. And then I want from here to there. Copy, rotate that. This should fit in the end sections. All right. All right, and then I want to um, grab from here to. Here, copy that. We'll spin it, or we could have, you know, done the rotate, and then that will go like that. Merge all these up. A little bit of merging, but it's much faster than trying to go through or painting the whole line. I think. Right, let's see how we like it. Hopefully, we like it because it took a little bit of work. All right, it's good. So we just outlined where the container will sit. Uh, I'm going to draw this color from there. I'm going to change these up here um, to this this yellow here. All right, good. So that's um, that is our container um, slot done. All right, so we wanted to add more um, hose anchors. We have three that we're able to utilize when we're um, when we are uh, docking. Um, I don't know if I want to do it from the starboard side. Yeah, starboard side's where it is um, on the refinery. So let's do that. Um, so what do we do? Is that, is that a midship? That's midships there. Um, let's go like this. Cut that. Is that a rib in the middle there? Okay, that's not a rib there. All right, so that's a rib there. So let's put this in the rib. Let's 
not do that. Let's do this. Okay, we'll do a um, sliding hatch. We'll just make a white for now. And this direction is fine. Uh, let me find the center. I want the center of my ship. So where's that? That is going to be uh, 57. So what's that? 25, 28, 29 is centered. 29 is center. That's our center right there. All right, so we were perfect on the center as it was. So. Okay. Okay, let's delete this off our measuring blocks. Cut, and that will go down. We'll merge that. All right, so underneath here, we're going to go, um, go hose. The hose will end up here. like so and then we want to go we'll delete this And I think if I go down one more, I should be able to put all three hoses in there. Now uh, where you can reach them. All right, so let's make it a little bit more fancy, a little bit um, kind of flushed. All right, now we'll go. Uh, if I'm duplicating this on this side, I knew I was going to do it, so I didn't want to duplicate that. Alright, All right, so I did not mean to have um, symmetry on. Okay, good. Let's paint this while we're at it. Okay, so that's gonna we're gonna finish this off here. All right, so we don't we can kind of delete some blocks we don't need. It's not the end of the world if we don't. But you can see here we are. Um, let's do this. Let's be a little bit more efficient on this. So we have our three there. All right, so we have our three. Um, Three hoses hooked. We'll see if that actually speeds us up. But they're kind of in the nice cubby here. Let's paint it. Um, just paint it dark gray here. Actually, I'll kind of paint it, paint it yellow. Can make it so we can see it a little bit. All right. Um, then we'll go yellow. All right, so let's spawn that, see how we like it. All right. Yep, so this is starting to take shape, starting to look good. Um, all right, as you can see, we're going to be able to reach all three. Um, not much we could do about that. Um, filling with water, it's annoying, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's annoying. Um, yeah, that's annoying. Um, I'll figure out if, what I, if I want to do something with that later. Um, let's get into what we need to do on this. Uh, barge, tie down. Yep, so we don't have any tie downs on this. We need some tie downs. So let's go in, um, turn symmetry back on there. What's that in three ribs? That's the fourth rib. One, two, three. That's fourth rib. Uh, we'll just put some tie downs in here. All right, so now we can more easily tie down the uh, barge. So that's done. Cross that off. Barge three fluid ports. We did that. Add anchor to barge. Okay, so uh, we're gonna need power. So let's save this. Okay, let's load in our boat and let's strip off the anchor parts here. Okay, so let's go from here to here, and then we gotta go down one. Copy that. Uh, we'll copy that. We'll move it forwards. Actually, let's not copy it. Let's cut it. And that way we can uh, take all of the connections with us. Paste that there. Let's look for the connections. Logic. And that goes to where? Um, all of that goes to here, which is um, anchor. Okay. So we're going to cut this. Again, we're not going to save the boat, so we can just cut. That's fine. Okay, paste that. We'll merge those for now. All right, then we need to grab our um, our our anchor panel here, which is here. Gonna cut that as well. We'll drag that over, and that will be our um, that will kind of finish out what we have here for this. Okay, let's grab the whole thing. Okay, come on. All right, that's our anchor right there. So let's uh, we'll just copy it. We'll load up the barge. All right, so real simple. Now we have an anchor. Um, so we need some sort of power generation on this at some point. Um, let's do two anchors in the front. We need a three slot. So these outer spots, I think, are good for us. So let's put, um, just paste one for now. Uh, we'll do independent anchors, so we'll paste two. We'll do Just do two panels. We'll do them right at the anchor themselves. Okay. And then I want to take the um, this whole anchor section here. I'm going to cut this, and we will put it right there it'll kind of be in the water when we're when we're moving but it's not a big deal um, the barge it doesn't need to be all that um, you know it's not not a speedboat it doesn't need to be okay merge please thank you okay and then what do we want let's look under here so it's paint let's paint please thank you okay there we go so that's we have an anchor there that and then this anchor can go here uh, let's just copy this one uh, no this one has all our connections still done so this is going to be quicker to paint than it's going to be to um, have to redo it so we do all the connections all right paste that merge that oh come on doesn't like the uh, that I might not have the angles there. There we go. Okay, and we'll paint. Could have waited to paint till um, till they were both there, but that's fine. Okay, so the logic. You know, we could combine these, but I'm just going to do two. Um, and then this is fine. We'll just go like this. Kind of do this anyways. There we go. We will cut this and we'll move it over here. 
and so they'll be kind of direct anchors. You'll have to actually walk to the spot to um, to control them. I'm just going to flip this one the other way so that the um, so that they're kind of in opposition to one another. Let's merge them up. Okay, good. So that's done. Those are connected now. Let's put the logic just underneath. All right. So it's it's um, it's not going to be a big deal because what we'll do is we'll put batteries on this and then um, you know we have an APU on the boat. We'll put an electrical connection that um, we can kind of do um, you know shore power to the barge itself. We could put a generator on the barge too. Uh, I could do that. Let's put an auto generator on the barge. That's a little bit extra, but it's um, you know it's be nice to have. All right, let's make sure infinite electricity is on. All right, so this barge is fully laden with fuel. So um, as you can imagine, it's going to sit higher when it doesn't have fuel in it. All right, let's look. Let these go all the way out. All right, uh, let's turn on waves just to push us to see a wind, see if those connect. As you can see, we are connected to the bottom. So, a little bit short on the uh, anchor chains, but it's it's not bad. Again, you know, we're gonna probably leave this close to our um, our base, so that's not a big deal. All right, good. So that works. Right, shut the wind off. Okay, so the only thing that's missing is the. Um, I don't know why that's not working again. Um, oh, I know why. I have to hook these back up. Um, so let's go. That goes there. That goes there. Uh, it should be. That should be working. Um, yeah, I don't know why, but uh, whatever. We'll uh, deal with it later. We'll figure out why that's not. Um, why that's not showing us that our anchors are connected. But um, okay, so that's good. So we have anchors on there. We need to power them. Um, barge ladder. This is a critical. Um, we were struggling to get on and off the barge, um, so we definitely need a um, we definitely need a barge um, a ladder for the barge. Let me. I'm going to cut this here. Um, I'm just going to put that on the front like that. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spawn this at the creative base because uh, we want to make sure this fits in the creative base and the ladders take up a lot of space. So we need to make sure that we can fit this in the creative base. So let's save it. Alright, let's go uh, to creative base. You know, let's make sure we can still spawn it in here. As you can see how tight we are, um, a conventional ladder isn't going to work. We can't put it on the side. We need three spaces. Uh, we might have three in the front. So let's see if I can move this forward. But the anchor's there. I don't think so. Um, what is a ladder? A ladder's three across. See, I doubt I can fit it in the front. Yeah, see, it's collisioned. 
Uh, let's push this all the way back, push it all the way forward. Yeah, so uh, what we're going to do is we'll do like a, uh, a rotating ladder or something. All right. Let's see, how do I want to do this ladder? Uh, right here, I think. Let's um, get off symmetry. We don't need multiple ladders, just need one. Make it asymmetrical is fine with me. Uh, let's paint that. All right, so this is going to be our ladder section here. Um, undo that for now. Um, okay, so let's go like this. Pivot. We're going to do a um, velocity pivot. Okay. Why is it not fitting there? Why does it not like that there? What is up that it doesn't like? What is it? What is the problem here? Why won't it go there? <coughs> I don't know why is that. Are we at the top now? What is up that I can't put anything here? Go from the side here. That's where our. That's there. So let's go on this side. Okay, let's try here. Okay, that lets us do it there. <coughs> All right, so we want to be able to rotate a ladder there. Let's actually do this. It doesn't really matter. I'm kind of a little bit picky here. Uh, let's do it right here. Just being picky, which isn't isn't good entertainment. All right. All right. Let's go. You like that? Okay. So we're gonna make uh, this will be neat. I'll show you how a, how you can make a velocity pivot work too. So. We have to conceptualize this and then do it upside down. So that's uh, always fun. So let's do a ladder. Okay, so we're going to put a ladder here. And it's going to rotate vertical. So we want to go up and over. So let's put the ladder here upside down. Do a three high ladder like that. Like that, maybe. All right. And then that needs to rotate all the way around, which is fine. Um, I'll show you how to do that in a second. So that's going to be a little ladder. Um, Again, we'll need battery power for this, which isn't a big deal. Um, no panel here. No, we don't want to right there. That's gonna no, that, that's fine. That's that's not gonna hit it. Um, okay. Yeah, it's, this is gonna be simple. We just want a. Uh, And then this is going to be just a um, arrow button. Down, push, one, ladder. Okay. 
And I'll do blank for a microcontroller. Grab blank microcontroller. Stick in the middle here for now. Okay, so we need we're gonna need two panels so that we can put the ladder back. Can we just put the ladder on a timer? No, let's just do that. Why not? Put the ladder on a timer. I haven't played with timers uh, much, so let's play with timers. And then let's you know what, let's make this double strong. Let's go like this. Paint that before I have to try to paint around it. All right. All right, so there's our little uh, rescue ladder. That's nice and easy. Um, let's go put on a timer so we only need one panel. That's kind of convenient. Let's do this. Ladder. Okay, logic. We need a composite to come from the panel. Okay, let's add a... Uh, we need a number going out. I don't think... Can't do these with velocity pivots, can I? Have to do them with the big velocity pivots, which is kind of weak sauce. Hmm. Almost wanting to do a manual ladder. Can't do that. Can't do that. Let's do this really quick. Yeah, because see, I can only send a number to these. I can't. Um, and I don't want to do a big one. Because, you know, the problem is I, I in order to make these so that I can go to whatever angle I want, I need to be able to read the rotation. And so, of course, you know, what another little criticism of Stormworks is there's no reason why these pivots, these big pivots here, um, these big pivots here, if you look, they read out um, our current rotation. I need to know that I need the current rotation to be able to make this work the way I want to make it work. Um, let's try this. Maybe we'll make it a manual ladder. Okay. Uh, let's do handle. Right, let's let's try this. Spawn it in. As you can see, the ladder falls over. I can jump overboard. Right, I can grab the ladder and I can climb out. Okay, so that's all we'll do. Um, I'm not thrilled with. I'm not thrilled with it. Let's just do this. How far back do I need to make this? Yeah, like I said, you know, if some of these blocks. If they just make them so that they were compound blocks, so you could do multiple things, that'd be kind of cool. But uh, they they don't. So it just makes it tough to get stuff done. You know, like, see, we need to go in that far to get the ladder where it's reachable. Yeah, that's gross. Um, I'll come up with a solution here in a second. <coughs> I 
don't think I can even do this with handles because the um, I don't have the space. Like if we look, yeah, it's just this is built so that it's as big as it can go on the. Uh, yeah, I can do a handle. Okay, let's try some handles. Um, go every other block. We'll do a handle. And hopefully, this will let me uh, do what I want to do. paint these. The handles work, that's a nice easy solution. It's not as elegant as a ladder, but it's also, I don't have to power it either, which is kind of nice. Okay, so fall overboard. Now the boat is full of fuel, so it's going to be sitting low anyways, so let's grab a handle. Alright, grab the handle. Alright, so now we should be able to work ourselves up like this. Let's see. Let's see, uh, let's see if I put one on top too, if I can make it work. So I can quickly grab the other handle. I just need it that in an emergency I can get on this thing. Because um, I can't fly in, in career. Let's go like this. Go in and try this. So it's like a little mini ladder here. Um, see if I can make this work. All right, so we're in the drink. Grab this handle to get as high as I can get. So you kind of look to the side here, and it lets you pick yourself up. As you can see, um, so I definitely need the handle there too. That's fine. You know, the purpose is, this is kind of uh, function over form. I want this just to work so that we can rescue ourselves if we fall in the water. Because, you know, it gets dangerous in a um, career where, you know, you die, you die. Of course, you know, I'm gonna, I have backup saves, so you, I can roll myself back. I'm not try to see if I can quickly grab the other handle. If not, I'll put a manual ladder in here. Yeah, I can't make this work. Yeah, I, I had it for a second there. Okay, it's gonna be it's gonna be hairy to do, but um, it's better than nothing at the moment. Okay, so I gotta look this way. Get right next to it. Click. Now I've got this one. Can I get in the boat? That's the question. Can I get in the boat? I don't think so. Okay. Let's do something else. We'll make a we'll make a custom ladder. Okay. So a little bit of live problem solving here. Yeah, that's that's one thing I like to watch when people do their videos is um you know I learn from you know it, it sometimes you know you if people pre-plan their videos too much and and they're just super uh, you know everything's already figured out before you get in. You lose kind of that ability to um, you lose that ability to kind of do the problem solving with them and learn what they're doing to figure out their problems. <clears throat> Let's go here. I think I can make this too wide. Um, let's see. I just need a little lip of something that I can jump on. Well, you know that we can call a ladder essentially. <clears throat> can I jump up this is the question if the answer is yes that would be awesome because uh, you know, the collisions are different on these bot blocks so. okay so let's see if I can get up this if I can get up this it's kind of a simple little because I don't want to power this um, more than I have to. Okay, so can we jump up? This is the question mark. Yes! Alright, so we can jump up this little hokey dokey ladder that we made here. That's awesome. Okay, so. 
see if I can reliably jump up this hokey dokey ladder that I made. Especially you figure that we're gonna have some waves going. Yep, yep, so I can get in this now. Okay, so that was a long drawn out thing to get a, uh, a little fake ladder going there, but that works. Um, I don't think I need the bottom rung. Let's get rid of the bottom rung. Um, let's actually duplicate this on the other side. Um, that way we have a ladder on both sides. A so-called ladder on both sides. All right, so now let's do, let's take out the fuel. Let's get the diesel to zero, spawn it. Now this is when we were having problems, is when there's diesel in there, it's reasonably low. We can every once in a while jump up on it. But when it's high in the water like this, we were struggling to get back on. And that can spell drowning, so. And we're in. Okay, good. So it's not perfect, but, you know, in real life, you could throw a rope ladder over, you know, so I'm not worried about, you know, being a little bit weird, but that's our little ladder there. So let's actually, um, uh, I'm trying to think, do I want to paint this emergency colors? I think I do. Now let's do this. Come on. Do symmetry, please. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so there's our little emergency ladder that we can use to get on. Um, okay, so there's our emergency ladder. Um, that's going to allow us to get on and off the craft. I don't think it needs to be painted like that. Um, yeah, that's fine. But yeah, so that way we can see where it is. Um, it's a little emergency ladder. And uh, we can, I don't think I'm even going to paint it like that. I think I'm going to keep it the way it was, just regular colors. But yeah, that's um, that's kind of cool, I think. That will let us get on and off so that in an emergency we can do that. Um, all right, so we're making good progress th on this. Add gauge to barge was on my to-do list. So let's look over here. Um, so right here, I'm going to put a dial. Uh, do you want a dial? I think I, you know what I'll do? I don't know how big the digitals are. You know, we're going to have a little, um, we're going to have a battery on this at least. Okay. And then this one will paint that. And then we'll go, um, I don't want any decimal places. Disable decimals, um, tank. Quantity. Okay, tank quantity. So that's going to go to, um, I don't have a meter in here at all. Let's go delete. I don't need a spawner in here anymore. I do need a meter. Let's put a meter in here. Okay. Okay, logic. Fluid level is going to go here. All right, that's good there. So that adds a fuel gauge to there so we can tell how much diesel. So let me actually um, put the spawner back in that I just took out. Um, that's gonna just let me, um, I wanna see what the capacity is. Okay, I'm kind of bugged here. I am bugged here. There we go, okay. S fluid spawner, okay, good, I'm right there. Diesel spawn. All right, we're low in the water again. Let's open this up. Yep, see that does that bug where it fills. Uh, 29,000 liters, that's good. Okay, so that's 29,000 liters. That's a good bit of fuel that we can utilize. Um, hopefully we can pump out a little bit faster. Let's see what else it was on my to-do list. That's on the other thing, digital compass we did on the boat. All right, so let's get a, um, I don't want to have to run power from the, um, I don't want to have to run power from the our boat. Um, so I think I'm going to just make a, uh, 
think I'm just going to make a little um, APU. Uh, why did I cut that instead of copying it? Let's do this. Um, this line door, see if that interacts with my... I don't want to hit the wall of the tank is the thing. See where we're at here. Um, is that going to hit the wall of the tank? It most likely is. Okay. <coughs> Let me see. Um, it will, so I'm going to not put it there. Okay. Let me try. Um, put it in the bow. Uh, we'll do sliding door. Let's do symmetry just so that I can see where the middle is. I want to go up to about there. Why doesn't it like me getting right up against these wedges? I don't know why. <coughs> Doesn't like me doing this at all like this. Okay, let's do this then. It's going to be difficult. I'm going to make it work regardless. All right. Delete that. Cut. Paste that like that. I'm hoping this doesn't fill with water. We'll see. Ooh, yeah, that can't be right there. Um, that needs to be back a couple. Okay, so we'll cut that. And we'll just flip it around like this. That should do it. Yep, okay, good. That's good there. All right, so that's fine. That's in. This is where our um, APU is going to sit. So it's just going to be a little room here for the um, APU to sit in. <coughs> All right, so just a little bit of a, an APU room here. So that way um, we can put the APU in here. I'll just do some quick paint here. And this is just, you know, a simulated access hatch so that you could work on the APU. All right. Let's do modular. And I'll do a three cylinder. Um, Really don't have much to do on this, so I'm gonna do a two cylinder. Just get rid of that. Come on. Can you click the right way? Thank you. Belt drive. Alright, we want a um Alright, so we want coolant pump. Do raw water cooling. Okay, we'll do starter. And an, uh, we won't bother with an alternator, I don't think. There's no point in having an alternator when I'm going to make a generator. So um, we'll make it a, f make it a two cylinder. All right, clutch. Uh, I think we want a flywheel too, just because we're uh, it's going to be a generator, so it's going to stay running. So put a flywheel on there. So this is like a, just a simulated um, 
access hatch that you would use for um, getting down here and doing maintenance. <clears throat> so what we'll do is we'll set this up to be automatic that it um, set this up to be automatic where it um, just maintains battery. Are you really gonna? Okay, I can go forward. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't need a medium. I can run with a with a short with a small gen because it's um. We're we're, we're really not going to be using a ton of electricity in this. Oh come on! You got to be kidding me. What is it? Is it it's got to be height. Uh, height and height. Okay, good. All right, so let's cut this. Let's move it to the left one. I just want it to fit within this door frame here. Okay. And then we'll do a gen, uh, do small gen. Okay, so that's just kind of set up to be our um, our little uh, just going to be set up to be our little uh, whatever I'm trying to say for our uh, generator for any power we might need. Fluid in. And then this is going to be fluid. Um, where is fluid out? Okay, so fluid in needs to go. Okay, so like this. Okay, fluid. Everything's called fluid. Yeah. Okay, so I'm at the bottom of the world here. That's no good. Can I go up a little? I can. Okay, good. <clears throat> Alright, so there's a little generator. Um, get it all cooled up and everything. Now we'll finish this and we'll finish the video. I know it's a, kind of a long one, but, um, you know, again, I want to get this done and um, kind of wrapped. So this, uh, you know, got to finish it off. I'll color this later. Um, that's not something you need to see. Just kind of doing. Okay, come on. Okay. Verge, please. Thank you. Starting to get aggravating when it, I have to hit everything three times. All right, so this we'll just set this right to three to one. Okay, blank for my blank microcontroller. Barge auto gen. Gen, okay, logic. Do a composite panel. Do another composite. Output to panel. All right. All right, logic here, we need um, number out air, number out fuel, number out clutch. Sounding familiar, huh? I should make a auto gen. Um, the problem is, you know, I tend, my things tend to get better every time I do them, so, you know, I tend to hesitate to make too many microcontrollers that I can just grab because, um, you know, I get better at it and then it's, um, you know, you end up, uh, you know, having to change everything anyway, so, um, you know, you don't rely on it as much. So let's see, um, cool pump, cool pump, okay. So that, uh, the clutch, I need the clutch off for start, so I won't do a constant number on that. Starter, and then I need an input of um, a number input for battery. So we can read what the battery is. Okay, let's get in here. Battery, coolant pump, starter, clutch, fuel, air, panel, panel. Okay, let's go. All right, so let's do PID, advanced PID. All right, so when we do... Uh, Um, 
So just do read on off, do flip switch one. And I'll put an and. I only want this going when it's less than 70% battery, so it's not running constantly. And um, when this is less than 0.7, that way it, this will auto shut off when it gets below 70% battery. Now let's go 50%. Okay, and that way. All right, so this will only turn on when we're below 50% battery. Uh, battery needs to go to the um, process variable. The set point is going to be 1 for we want 100% battery. I'm trying to think of how to set this up so it doesn't shut off at 70% battery. I'll just keep it like I'll just take out this condition for now. We'll I'll work on that later. See if I'm even interested in doing that. Um, it doesn't need to be perfect. I just want to make it work. <clears throat> All right. So um, let's do simple to start, and if I want to complicate it later, I can. Um, X times 0.49999. That's there. Uh, air and fuel. So we'll just do the simple fuel, divide it by two essentially. Um, for that, clutch is going to be um, will be either 100% or it'll be off for a start. So one. Uh, let's do. Let's do this. Um, you know, further complicating things. Uh, let's do uh, increment of 0 0.01, disabled 0 to 1. All right, if this is on, if this is on and it's not starting, I'm going to increase the clutch. Okay, we should just be able to do, if this is on, we want to increase the clutch. If the starter is on, we want to, um, we want to zero it. Clutch goes there. Did I put a starter? I did put a starter. All right, so put a let me do try a timer for something. Okay, let's try this here. Um, read that again. All right, so variable input timer outputs an on signal when the timer reaches its duration. The timer will not reset until it's signaled. Okay. Variable input outputs an on signal when the timer is less than its duration. Timer will not reset until it's signaled. OK. 
Okay, so that's the one we want. So essentially, let's see. Um, this will go away. I can do some logic notes here. Okay. Um, timer enabled and reset. So if the uh, battery is less than 50%, all right, um, All right, so let's try this. So let's take, um, so I turn the system on, all right. Trying to figure this out. I essentially want it so that it. Uh, let's just make it simple for now. I'm not gonna. I don't want to crawl into this too deep. Um, yeah, I'll work on that later. I'll think about it some more. Um, okay, same thing with a coolant pump here. Um, the coolant pump is just gonna be the same as the clutch. I don't want it on when the starter's going. Um, okay, starter real simple. I need RPS too. I don't have my RPS. Logic RPS. Okay. RPS. Um, come on. Being annoying this whole thing. All right, if RPS less than 2.5 and the um, <clears throat> the on switch is on, uh, go ahead and start the starter. If that's going on, we want to zero that. This should be a working, um, yeah, this should be a working um, panel. Battery, battery, yep. Let's do number input, gen, output. Okay, that will give us all we need to know so I can make some gauges later. I'm not going to get into it too much, but uh, we'll just connect this, make sure it works, and then we'll call that a video. It's just kind of dragging on, I know. All right, let's hook it up. Let's see if I can get this to work. Um, air. I haven't hooked up any of that yet. Okay, modular air. Okay. Okay. So air is going to go through there. I need a fuel tank which can be right back here. Doesn't need to be huge. Um, medium should be fine. I want a center line, just that's in the center. Okay, that's good. Let's cut a hole through here. It's right at the flywheel, of course it is. Cut a hole here. Ah, oh, come on. I don't need symmetry on anymore. Thank you. I don't need symmetry on. Thank you. All right. Um. All right. All right. Hopefully finishing this up here in a second, and then that will... Uh, that way, if we want to add some stuff to this, we can, and we have a um, you know, nice versatile system here that will do everything we need it to do. Okay.
All right, so we're pumped. Uh, I need exhaust ex as well. Let me. Uh, that's good right there for exhaust. All right, so the exhaust can go right out to sea. Okay, that's air. Um, I'll figure something out for air in a second here. All right, so that's set up. Um, start connecting everything really quick. Battery. We'll do a couple mediums just because we don't want to run out of juice too soon. Symmetry. Two mediums. Okay, good. Um, RPS. Gen output. Battery. Coolant pump, clutch. Uh, clutch should be the same as coolant pump. Yeah, clutch can be the same as coolant pump. We don't need two, so that's fine. Let's do that. Um, air, air, and then fuel. That's yeah, fuel. Uh, what is that? That's coolant pump. We don't need. Okay, then we need to make a panel. Put it right here next to the air. Do a button. Toggle button one. Uh, two is going to be a. Um, Gauge vertical zero one battery. Let's make it one hundred. I'll multiply that out two, and then I want uh, battery starter. If the starter's on, we'll get an indicator light, and then. Um, We'll do uh, delta. I'll uh, we'll do charge slash discharge, and I will I'll probably do that off screen. Um, probably seen that quite a few times now, so I don't need to make you see that again. All right, so let's go logic. Let's go. Now let's hook the electricity up to everything so we can shut in from electricity off. The 
just needs electricity. And these now really need electricity. All right, let's flip the switch. I give it to put a value in my pit or it's gonna do nothing. Try a one, see if that works. All right, so this is just gonna be an auto gen. Might put the batteries in the back. <laughs> Did I connect the starter? Ah, connect the starter always helps. Yeah, I need to put some weight in the back. The batteries are kind of... Put these center of gravity, that'll make sure they don't um, want the, should put them a little bit rearward of the center of gravity, we'll try to drag the CG back just a hair. Grab this one here. Where did that one go? That one went. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Let's put this just put this back here. I don't give, really care anymore. Uh, there we go. All right, that's good there. Uh, it brings the CG back a little bit. Let's try it. If it doesn't work, we'll call it here and I'll uh, fix it up. Exhaust zero. I didn't connect the exhaust, I bet. Oh, the exhaust is connected. Is this... Okay, I don't know why that's not pumping exhaust out. That's the cylinder head. Exhaust. Straight pipe. Okay. Grab, grab the color, please. Jesus. Being annoying today. Being really annoying today. There we go. All right. If you have exhaust, what's your problem? What's your problem? You have exhaust. You have nice air. Air's coming in. Air's going down. Air's not connected. That will do it. Okay, good. Figure that one out. All right, it's up and running. All right, let's kill uh, infinite electricity. All right, we gotta test it really quick, and then I'm gonna be done for this video. <coughs> Motor prop uh, do we have a constant number of one somewhere? No. Uh constant number of one. Electricity. Did I merge both my batteries? 
I did. Okay, beautiful. All right, let's do this. Props going and burn up a ton of electricity. Point three throttle. The other one was at point three. I wonder why these are sticking at point three. Got to be burning electricity like crazy. I'm actually not burning that much electricity. I'm generating, I'm outputting a very little amount. Is this raising? Let's see. Okay, anyways, um, we'll call it here. Did a lot of good work on this barge. Kind of get it in order. Um, do a quick recap. Um, added some anchors so we can anchor this. I added some uh, some ladders that will work as ladders so that we can get back on the boat in an emergency. Um, cause, you know, usually we can jump from our other boat, but sometimes we need to get on this. Added a bunch of rope anchors uh, midships so that we can um, so we can tie off. Uh, I added move the um, connection points to the ends here. Um, just as a little bit of smoothing, made it look a little bit better, painted it up, um, added some batteries, a generator, um, added a bunch of gauges and whatnot that are flooding. So I'm going to have to put a bilge pump or something to keep that from that flood. That's a fake flood effect, just a Stormworks thing. Um, painted some lines around the container. Um, but yeah, so uh, let's save this. Um, and uh, in the next video, um, probably I might finish this up on my own and I'll just show you what I did and then, um, you know, we can uh, start using it. Um, we'll go to a container. That'll be a little something different. And then maybe I was thinking, uh, so one of the reasons I want to get this barge going here is if you notice, the barge has a nice big flat open area. And so what one of the things I wanted to do is... Um, I want to start taking some of the other basic stuff that I've made from my tutorial series and um, build us another rescue vehicle, seeing that the boat's going to be released. Um, you know, that way, um, you know, if we want to use something else, if we want to do a different type of mission, we can. Um, and so what I'm going to do is, um, let's save this one more time. So uh, with a nice open space here that has anchors and something that can stay out there and has tie downs, well, guess what we can do? We can do um, we can make a helicopter. So we, um, once we kind of do that, um, you know, we can take my Stormworks Basics helicopter tutorial, and we'll essentially just take the uh, microcontrollers and um, you know probably take the microcontroller, the gyro, the rotor. Um, I might just, I might take this and just kind of adapt it, but, uh, make a little rescue helicopter, you know, um, something one seat, thinking maybe on floats, um, so that we can land it in the water. And then, um, you know, when we're not using it, I like to start leaving some of the stuff out in the world. So, uh, you know, if we have our barge and we have a nice open area, we can land the helicopter in the barge. We can tie it off, tie it down, anchor the barge and leave it out and the ocean and we can do the same with our boat so uh that's just a thought so uh you know we've we've done building a couple times here so i'm not gonna make you watch building again i'm gonna uh i'll finish this off screen at some point and then um try to get back into some actual uh career play all right thanks for watching bye